Ever wondered about the other members of the Talking Drum family? In this video, we'll be reviewing the Omele Gogon, the smaller version of the Adamo or the Talking Drum with the unique tonal production. Details coming right up. Omile Gongo is a smaller version of the talking drum. It's about 6 to 7 inches in size when compared to Adamo, which is the main talking drum. Every part of the Omile Gongo is exactly like the Big Brother in terms of makeup and structure. For instance, it's got the strap, the drum membrane, the tension cords, the egg, and other parts. For a review of my video on the talking drum, I would recommend checking out the video by clicking on the link above. You can also play the Omele Gogon using your right hand or your left based on your choice. If you play the talking drum quite well, you should be comfortable playing the Omele Gogon as well. Although similar in everything, things start getting interesting with the Omele Gogon when it comes to the tuning, the placement, and the rhythms of playing the Omele Gogon. To start with, the caustic or opa, using playing the omele gongo is shorter when compared with that of the adamo. Although some talking drummers use the same cough stick for both the omele gongo and the adamo, I would recommend using the smaller one that is actually meant for omele gongo for various reasons. One is because it's quite easy to play the omele gongo at faster tempo, like. Also because if you play with a bigger cough stick, you could easily rupture the membrane of the omele gongo because the second fret is quite smaller than the bigger drum. The omele gongo also has a tuning cord just like the adamo. However, it is tuned in such a way that it only produces one tone, which is either re or mi. As a result, the omele gongo cannot talk or produce the tonal marks of the Yoruba language, the amio un ede Yoruba, which are the do the re and the mi tones are seen in the Adamo. In other words, the Omele Gongo produces just one tone, depending on the tightness of the tuning cord. To get the re tone, the third rope is tied around the tension cords lightly, while the third rope is tighter to get the mi tone. Now, it shouldn't be as tight as capable of rupturing the drum mem membranes though, but tight enough to produce a distinct mi tone. You can hear both the re and the mi tone. The monotonic rhythm of the omele gongo assists the other percussionists like the talking drummer, the agogo, the shekere, and others to follow suit by keeping to time. Now let's look at placement. So in terms of placement of the omele gongo, the omele goes under the armpits of one hand just like so, and the cough stick on the other hand, just like you play the Adamo. On an ideal situation, you see two Omele Gogon players playing the drum at the same tempo. Usually, one drummer will play the Re, which is the lower pitch tone, and the other drummer plays the Mi, which is the higher pitch tone. But because the Omele Gogon is relatively small in size, it is not uncommon to see a talking drummer play two Omele Gogon together. Now this will be tied using a touch rope and both drums will be played at intervals to create a rhythm. As an example, let me show you a clip from one of our music videos so you can appreciate the sound produced when you have a pair of Umile Gongo in action. This is a snippet though. The music video will be released soon by Ghost Grace. So thanks to all our returning subscribers watching this video. And if this is your first time, we say welcome. Please like this video, smash the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you can receive updates on our new videos. Stick around and I'll be right back. Just 
just as you've seen from the video, I have two omele gongo here. One plays the re, and the other plays the mi. So I can easily play either of the tones based on my preference. Now, what is the essence of having this miniature size of talking drum? Why, why is it even important in the first instance? Playing the omele serves as a background percussion, dictating the pace for the other instruments, just like the cowbell and the claves. Now, as an example, I want to play a studio mix background percussion of the omele, which is this drum, the shekere, the claves, and the maracas. It is a 4-4 four, four time signature rhythm at 102 uh, beats per minute. So I'm going to be playing the omele, then the clave, which is the bossa nova pattern, the maracas, and the shekere. Let's hear it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So if you have any of these tiny drums locking around somewhere, I really want you to have a feel of the Omele Gongo. Play it on the song, clave pattern, the rumba pattern, and even the waro pattern. Just try your hands on these cuties to get started. In conclusion, we've reviewed the uniqueness of the Omele Gongo as an African percussion instrument. I'm looking forward to receiving your questions, your comments, and rhythms you would like to create with the Omele Gongo. If there's any video you'd like us to make, please drop the information below in the comment section. You can also send us an email, details in the description section below. This is just the introduction to learning how to play the Omele Gongo. More videos on the step-by-step -step details on the way. And remember, Jesus loves you dearly. Believe in him and may God bless you abundantly. See ya! Oh